P-A-D. It's in your mouth. What's up, people? Y'all already know who it is. Check out my website, instagainer.com. We're trying to get some Instagram followers for free. All you got to do is log on to the website. You can use it every day. It's in the description. Also, it's in the video. But, yo, um, we got Gucci Man going at Jeezy because I seen the Jeezy interview when he was like, how you going to take a dude serious and he got a damn ice cream truck on the side of his face? I mean, it's, it's kind of real. You know, it's like... To be honest, when Jeezy came, I mean, Gucci Man came out with this track, The Truth, I guess. Um, we can't really say that he really killed his friend. I, well, I can't really say. I don't know if y'all got evidence or nothing. Him saying it don't really mean he actually did it. Because why would, don't get me wrong, it's a lot of, like, okay, a nigga got a, you know, a, you know, a Sunday on his fucking face or whatever. So, it's like, why would you talk about killing somebody and they got these so-called, you want to call it, hip-hop police that listen to these tracks and be like, you know what? He's talking about he just, you know, he uh, did a murder on a track, killed his homeboy, so let's investigate that, you know, and, and see if he actually did it. So he's going to be locked up again. It's like, why would you even brag about killing somebody? You know, don't get me wrong. I mean, if you're about that life, you're about that life. But it's like, I don't really think he actually did it himself. Because if you did it yourself, then why would you be on the track bragging and airing it out? Like, oh, I killed your homeboy. Okay, you fucked this chick. I mean, that's no, no big deal. You know, that's Jeezy. I think this whole Gucci Man versus Jeezy situation, hey, it might get real. I don't know if it's going to be on track. But to be honest, something like that, when you talk about somebody homeboy, that's, I mean, hey, the track was kind of, I'm not even going to lie. Like, for a Gucci Man diss track... Like, the stuff he was saying, I mean, it might be real. That's that's kind of tough. Talk about somebody, homeboy, that you killed, and you like you just bragging about it like it was nothing. But um, I think Jeezy going to be safe. Jeezy, you know, he's you know, he close to, you know, Jay-Z, Kanye. So, ending a Jeezy career, that's not going to happen. I, I don't see that happening. I'd rather get a Jeezy mixtape than a Gucci Man mixtape any day. A CD any, any day. I mean, come on, man. Like, you can compare a Gucci Man mixtape... Or CD to Jeezy CDs because Jeezy actually rap about different other stuff compared to and lyrically. To be honest with you, I think Jeezy's better. I'm not saying that like oh Jeezy like you know he's Jeezy's cool. A lot of people don't give Jeezy his credit, but Jeezy actually be spitting some hot stuff like like he's on another level compared to Gucci Man. So anybody that think Gucci Man is gonna win this one is like retarded in my eyes. I don't even. You know, maybe you got a Sunday on your face because if you following a guy that got a big Sunday on top of his face or on the side of his face, then I don't know what to say. Like, I wouldn't take a dude serious like that. Like, why would you get all these face tattoos? And I know I see a lot of people that do face face tattoo, but like a damn ice cream cone, nigga. Like, what was you thinking when you got that? You gotta be retarded as hell. But um, this whole battle, man. Um, if Jesus do make it this track back. You, Jeezy will kill that nigga, man. Ain't, ain't nothing mess with that trap or die, man. That trap or die is just like, that's a classic, man. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm a, you know, I tell people, man, like, I, I listen to, you know, um, some, you know, Big L, you know, lyrical people, you know, Big Daddy Kane, but I like to switch around a lot. You know what I mean? Like, Jeezy, one of them rappers that's, he's not lyrically, like, oh, on a Big Daddy Kane level, but. His whole style and flow is nice. I mean, I don't know if the guy is real or not. I don't know if none of these rappers are real. So when people are like, oh, he real, he real. Just because you see him on TV because he rap about it, that means he real? Like, shit, I'm going to start rapping about crack then. But, um, <laughs> no, nah, like, this track, it was all right. But I think if Jeezy come out with a diss track, man, it's going to be a body bag, man. Because I think a lot of rappers that's even listening, oh, Gucci, man, he going to kill. He going to kill Jeezy, man. Jeezy, he whack. Nah, I don't see it. He's not going to. It's not going to be a Ja Rule situation. He's not going to Ja Rule Jeezy. Like, Jeezy's not going to disappear. Now, Gucci Man, yeah, he can disappear. His career is looking kind of looking kind of shaky. Don't get me wrong. He got, you know, got a song, uh, uh, song with Big Sean, um, Birdman. But who gives a fuck about Birdman? You know, he's just a guy with money. You seen his damn headphones? He got beat by Dre, like, diamond head. Like, dude, you, hey, I mean, if you got the money, you got the money. But that's Lil Wayne money. He really didn't do much. You know, he just... All they had was Lil Wayne and get some, you know, good producers bad. That's that's what he was rolling on for a minute. You know, because Lil Wayne at that time, back in the day, was spitting some hot fire. And all of a sudden, bam, he fucked everybody over. 
If he didn't do that, man, they would have been killing the game. But this whole Gucci man, I guess he coming out with a little Trap God mixtape. Um, nah, I, Trap was alright, but nah, no. You, you're not messing with Jeezy, man. That's not possible. I don't see him winning. So if anybody think Gucci man going to beat a Jeezy, man, chill out. You you might have a Sunday. You might have an ice cream cone on the side of your face. Maybe you might want to get that checked because... So, you know what? Some of Gucci Man fans are retarded any goddamn way. So, yeah, I'll make a comment, man. It probably wouldn't even bother me. Because some of them, they tight retarded. And I wouldn't be surprised. They sitting next to fucking Gucci Man. But, um, y'all tell me what y'all think. Uh, and all y'all Gucci Man fans out there, please take your hammers off. Now, it's some cool Gucci Man fans. I understand you like looking at the club music, all that stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with that. But this whole Gucci Man versus Jeezy, hopefully, it don't get, like, kind of, you know... Like my name, you get kind of dilly up in there. It's, it's gonna be kind of wow, but um, just keep it on track, man. I ain't trying to see nobody die, but um, the track was alright, but Jeezy gonna kill him, man. If it's like a Jeezy versus Gucci, man, and I don't want to, I don't want to see no Waka Flocka try to jump in it, cause he he's fucking trash too. That you remember what he just said on one one and six and Paul? Oh, that boy, dumb, man, y'all looking dumb as hell, man. Brick Squad, nigga, y'all niggas dumb as some bricks.